often when we're developing and learning to do readings, we often hear this uh, way of describing abilities and kind of psychic development as uh, you're, you're strengthening your psychic senses as if they're a muscle. And um, it's one of these things that I don't necessarily feel like is a helpful metaphor when it comes to our abilities, especially for people who are more uh, self-conscious or people who struggle a lot with confidence in their abilities and um, self-esteem. Because this idea, we kind of grab onto it and start to think about our abilities as something that can break or uh, some days they're stronger than other days or we start to think about our abilities as if they can rust uh, and grow old if we don't use them um, and we start to really not trust our abilities and it really kind of creates an extra added layer of anxiety. So the way I like to talk about it is that your abilities are a natural part of you. They're really part of your essence and they're not like a muscle or a bone in that like they can, they can break or anything like that. That's not how it works. They're a natural part of you. They don't break any more than your soul breaks or anything like that. Like your energy doesn't break. Um, and so how I like to think of the development process when you're developing your abilities, it's not so much you um, strengthening your senses or strengthening your abilities. It's actually a, a process of revealing them. And, and the metaphor I like to use is that your abilities are like dinosaur bones. And the development process is really uh, this process of removing all the dirt and dust that is on top of your abilities. And really what that dirt and dust is, it's just your conditioning, the years of conditioning that you have on top of there. Uh, all your self-doubts, all your self-esteem issues, that's what we're kind of taking away so that we can reveal your abilities. It's not so much about strengthening them. And so some days that dirt and dust may kind of blow back onto your dinosaur bones on top of your abilities. And um, it might be on days when you're naturally feeling low or you're naturally feeling more self-doubt. So you might have to do a little bit of extra work in removing that dirt and dust again. So the, the development process isn't really linear because once you remove the dirt and dust, it might come back again and you have to just work through it again. Uh, but eventually you do kind of reveal your full abilities and potential um, but it's something that's always there and your abilities are something that you can count on for every reading. Now every reading is going to be uh, completely different because let's say you're a medium, uh, you go into a reading, you're going in with your abilities which are steady, they're always there, they're always working, they're always amazing. Uh, you come into the reading though, you have a certain set of spirits coming through, you have this client that you're connecting to, and the sum of all of you together is going to look like that unique reading. And then you go into a different reading, and you have a whole different set of spirits to work with, you have a different client to work with, and the sum of all of you together is going to look completely different, and it might look like your abilities aren't consistent because one might go way better than the other and you think, man, that day where it didn't go so well, that has to be my abilities just not being amazing that day and so I clearly can't trust them. When actually there's a whole range of factors that go into a reading, but your abilities are always constantly there. Now of course you do want to work through all that dirt and dust on top, all your conditioning, all your uh, limiting self-beliefs, uh, all your confidence issues in order for your abilities to work at their absolute best. But you can always trust them to be there.